Congratulations, you found it. The Safety Not Guaranteed podcast. The best kept secret in the outdoor venture industry. I am your host, J. Brett Turnbull, and this is the premiere episode, the very first episode of the Safety Not Guaranteed podcast. And on this sacred occasion, I would like to give a little bit about my background so you know who's talking to you. Uh, on this crazy little podcast thing. We are an outdoor adventure podcast. We dip into travel, uh, adventure sports, uh, peril, danger, all that fun stuff that comes with uh, traveling around and and being a dirtbag and uh, getting into it. So about my background, uh, I grew up in Southern Oregon where I was exposed to swift water rafting on legendary rivers such as the Rogue River and the Omqua River. And uh, I, after high school, joined the United States military and spent five years in the military. I have two combat deployments. And while in the United States military, I was exposed to technical rescue through rope rescue. Uh, took a course through the regiment while in battalion and uh, basically took off from there, really liked it and uh, got out of the military, adapted, adjusted, did some travel and some volunteer work. But I basically fell into being a technical rescue instructor. So I teach a lot of swift water rescue, technical rope rescue, confined space, tower rescue and things like this, uh, mainly to first responders. And I've had uh, some good success with it, traveling around, getting a lot of good gigs. I'm a very, I'm very blessed uh, to have the opportunity to do this job, and uh, I love it. And that's kind of one of the reasons I would decide to do a podcast, uh, so I can discuss it and the things around it, traveling. Obviously, a podcast just about technical rescue is going to be a very... Uh, narrow audience so I want to expand this into just kind of some of the outdoor adventure and just uh, fun stuff like that we'll we'll get into quite a few different things I promise you that um, and uh, yeah so I've been a technical rescue instructor for about 10 years and I've traveled everywhere from Belize to Dubai China India and uh, quite a few spots in between and uh, to be honest I like the uh, what we would refer to as third world countries, developing nations, are my favorite. Uh, Europe is pretty boring and a lot of rules there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously fun, you know, not gonna knock it. It's got lots of great stuff, culture, history. Uh, but I like it a little rough, a little bit of the, uh, backpacker style. Um, so that's mainly my background, uh how it pertains to travel and adventure. Um, I am in Southern Oregon. I have five acres. I am broadcasting from my barn shop, my base camp. Uh, for the last year I've been, or excuse me, last two years, I came back from a training mission in China and decided to, to take some time. And my father and I have been building uh a house barn on five acres in Southern Oregon. And uh, <laughs> for construction workers, we are great technical rescue instructors. Uh, but that's part of the fun, building the house. It's not completely finished. We are in the framing inspection phase of the construction. So we're on the downhill slope, but it is a beautiful place here in Southern Oregon. And, uh, yeah, I am in my garage right now. I have, well, the whole thing is basically a garage. The bottom floor is a garage. Uh, I got the doors opened up, and I've got my rug laid out, and my lawn furniture, and my computer open, and my whiteboard's out in front of me. And this is my base of operation. And uh, kind of one of the reasons I decided to start uh, the podcast is... In the next couple weeks, I it is it is heating up. My summer is heating up. Uh, in the next couple weeks, it is mid. 
excuse me, it is mid-June right now, and on June 28th in Grants Pass, Oregon, I am hosting a Swift Water Rescue class. Uh, it is a Rescue 3 International NFPA compliant class, and we are doing that three days of training on the Road River here in beautiful Southern Oregon. That class wraps up June 30th, and then immediately the next day, I am getting on a plane and I am flying to India, uh, flying into Mumbai to be exact, and I will be training the Mumbai, as far as I know, details are coming in slowly and surely, and that's kind of the nature of how these things work. But as far as I know, I will be training the uh, Mumbai Fire Department in some uh, swift water rescue and and various other basic rescue techniques. Um, and uh, we will be doing that. That will be 16 days of solid training. And then after that, we are going to try to go to the... I, I will slaughter names on this podcast. It's just part of how we roll. Uh, but we will be going to the Malabar River Festival in India. And uh, the guy lining up the training is an Indian national. Uh, and uh, he's worked with colleagues, colleagues of mine before. So it's pretty good. And I know him by reputation. And he seems to be a pretty stand-up guy. And then the other instructor that actually got me the gig, I have worked with in Nepal and in China, and she uh, has trained on the river, trained on the river sites that we will be training the Mumbai Fire Department, and she's been to the River Festival before, or at least uh, that location. So we're getting things lined up, and we're gonna step off into the unknown. And, uh, again, that's kind of why I figured I've been wanting to do a podcast for a while, just a way to spread, uh, you know, propaganda, misinformation, hate, dissent, and fear. Uh, I mean, you know, just to inform people what I'm up to. Uh, so I figure, you know, as my summer is heating up, as things are getting going, no better time than right now to, uh, start the podcast and, uh, kind of just start it with uh, my shoelaces and as I continue to do the podcast I plan on buying better equipment um, you know I don't know that that will happen before I get to India but I plan on getting a mic but in the meantime I am just going to use my cell phone and transfer the video clip to audio using a free app 